Hello everyone, I'm Marwan from the XLA team. And today I'll be showing you a quick tutorial on how to set up uh, a integration between Jira Cloud and ServiceNow using the script mode or the script connection mode of XLA. So for the purpose of this uh, demo, I have a ServiceNow instance where we have XLA already deployed. Uh, plus we have a Jira Cloud instance where we also have Xlate deployed for it. To go through the installation, just visit our docs.xlate.com website, uh, where you can scroll to the uh, getting started section, where you can just simply select the platforms that you would like to connect. It will show you all of the different ways that this integration can be configured. Just select the one that you would like. So um, moving on from the installation point, uh, where you will find Xlate uh, in um, the app section for uh, Jira Cloud and for uh, ServiceNow, you will have a link where you can reach it. So if you are just on your main screen, uh, you can just uh, search for it basically by going to all and searching for Exalate, where you get to the uh, to the Exalate Bridge app uh, page, right? Which is this page over here. Um, also have a look at our getting started uh, section where you can just uh, click on the step-by-step -step tutorial. Um, but moving on from that point, uh, let's continue. So I have a task over here that I have created for the purpose of this demo that we're going to be using to send this um, uh, task from Jira Cloud to ServiceNow. In order to do so, we need to establish a connection first. So uh, heading back to the Xlate panel, where I'm currently on the connection screen, I'm going to initiate a connection. And this will ask me to provide the URL for the uh, node of the system that I'm trying to connect to. So I'm just going to copy that URL here from the ServiceNow side and paste it in. Exalate will confirm that it can actually connect to this instance. Uh, so Exalate is, is basically available for it to connect to. And we have a couple of connection methods. Uh, for the purpose of this demo, we're going to focus on the script mode, uh, which is the most powerful way of uh, and the most flexible way of using Exalate because it uses Groovy scripting, which is a Java-based uh, coding library. And uh, using that, uh, you can basically create any kind of logic that you would like to, to have in order to meet the uh, synchronization or integration uh, flow that you would like to have. All right. So selecting the script mode, we're going to continue. It will ask us to provide the name for our connection. So I'm just going to call this Jira Cloud to service. Now I'm just going to add my name to the description for easy finding and continue. It will also ask us specifically for Jira Cloud to select a project. Uh, as Jira uses a project-based configuration, uh, whenever and if we will send any kind of incident from ServiceNow to Jira, this is the project where uh, a new issue will be created in Jira by default. We can uh, set up Exalate to um, synchronize or send issues to different projects. However, during the initial configuration, we just need to select one project to get started. So then we click uh, initiate, where the connection on the Jira Cloud side uh, gets uh, set up and configured. We get an invita invitation code that we can uh, copy by pressing on this button. Um, if you manage the other server, you can just visit the, the same connections tab on the receiving end, or just send this invitation code to whoever manages the other server. And then we're just going to click on accept invitation, paste in our invitation code, and click Next. And our connection is established. So if we just close this window, scroll down a bit, this is the connection that we have just created. And if we go down or we return to the Jira Cloud connections page and refresh it, you can see that our connection is active. Um, just by having our connection uh, set up, we can already start to synchronize issues and incidents between the different platforms because Exalate already comes pre-configured with some basic configuration. So to uh, show that, um, I'm going to the ticket that I had created previously. Um, and we have an Exalate panel here on the, on the inside of the interface. 
where we can open this uh, this panel. It will show you whether a ticket is currently synchronized or not. Um, and it provides you two options. So currently, this ticket is, is still new. It has not been synchronized. Our connection has just been established. Uh, by exhalating, so pressing the exhalate button, uh, we basically send this uh, ticket with the basic currently the basic configuration of exhalate. Uh, take the information that's available inside of this uh, this task and send it over to ServiceNow, where a new incident will be created over there. Uh, or we can uh, choose to connect, and that means that we want to connect this existing task to a different existing incident on ServiceNow by selecting the connection. Um, and uh, providing uh, the unique uh, ticket number or incident number on the service outside. For the purpose of this demo, we're just gonna send this over to ServiceNow where then a new incident will be created. So uh, selecting the uh, connection that we have just established and clicking Exhalate. For Exhalate, we'll basically now in the background uh, take the information from this uh, from the ticket compile it in the data object and send it over to ServiceNow, where then Exhalate receives that information, unpacks it, and then uh, through the, the provided script, uh, creates a new incident, uh, puts all of the different uh, bits and pieces of information that has collected from, from Jira, uh, where they belong in the incident of ServiceNow. And then as soon as that uh, synchronization is complete, it will notify us that the, that the tickets are now synchronized, and it will also provide us the link to the actual incident that was created on ServiceNow uh, during this sync process. So we'll just give it a second to complete. Maybe just refresh the page. All right, so it is synchronized, and this is the incident that was created on ServiceNow. This is also a live link, so I can just drag it here to my uh, title bar and open it up where it will bring us to this uh, to this incident that was created during the sync process, where the information that is that was uh, taken out of the uh, the ticket on Jira, uh, you know, gets entered in here. All right. So uh, you see the comments, you see the, the description, the, the title that was provided and everything, all right? Um, now, how does this work? Let's dive into the connection where I can briefly explain how uh, Exhalate uses the script to, uh, to perform these tasks. So opening the script menu, uh, or the connection menu, you see that we have two scripts. One is the outgoing script or the outgoing sync script and the incoming sync. Um, the outgoing sync basically extracts the information from the platform. So currently this is Jira Cloud, where by default it is uh, taking all of these bits and pieces of information out of the ticket, uh, just because this is a good default configuration for most of the Jira Cloud uh, deployments. If there is any field in here that is currently being sent over to ServiceNow that we don't like to send, we can just get rid of it. Um, if there is anything that we'd like to send that isn't here, we can just add it, which I will do in a second. And if we go to the connection on uh, ServiceNow and click edit on the connection, uh, we see a similar thing. So here we're also capturing some information from incidents specifically uh, by default for ServiceNow. But uh, for the incoming part, so I sent a task from uh, from Jira to ServiceNow, and then on the incoming part, so whenever uh, ServiceNow receives this information, uh, it will basically run through the incoming script, right? Because it's receiving the information and it's processing it. And uh, the first thing that it does is checking whether uh, this incoming uh, ticket or incident or anything it may be from, from Jira uh, has already been synchronized before. If this is not the case, then we'll just create it as an incident by default. This can be a different entity. If that, if that fits your use case, however, by default, this will be an incident. And then, you know, considering that we're working with incidents, we have also a script that just um, for incidents specifically uh, adds the description to the, you know, the, takes the, the summary, puts it inside of the description, 
add the description as well, add the comments and attachments, right? So this is how uh, our comments are being added by default. There are some other bits and pieces of code in here that are currently uh, commented out, uh, which you can use for different uh, functionality. So let's go head back to Jira, where we can add some functionality uh, to our script. And we're going to do uh, a couple of things. So just heading back to the main uh, ticket interface, we will basically be taking out or synchronizing a couple of fields, uh, which are two fields that I have here. So I have a text field here that is called uh, CF2, so for custom field uh, two, and I have a country custom field, which is a drop down menu uh, with a couple of selections. I'm just gonna uh, map these to, to fields inside of uh, ServiceNow. So I have a Jira mood uh, custom field here, which is also a text field. And I have a country Jira, which has the same uh, selections as my drop down menu on uh, the Jira side. Uh, and I would like to map these uh, so that anything that I have uh, selected on the Jira side would also get transferred to the ServiceNow uh, ticket. So to do so, I'm going to have to add the mappings for these uh, fields inside of my outgoing sync because I want to capture the information that's available in the ticket for these fields. And for that, I have these uh, uh, code snippets. So one is basically just taking the custom field that is named CF2 that we saw a second ago, and it's taking the value of the, uh, of the country um, as well, custom field. And so basically, this is just outgoing. So this will be sending that information. However, we also need to process it when it arrives. So on the ServiceNow side, on the incoming script, because remember, this is where we uh, handle all of the incoming uh, information. We also need to make sure that we are uh, processing that information and assigning it to where it needs to go inside of the uh, tables of ServiceNow. And for this, we're going to do, um, we're going to assign the value. So this is the uh, CF2 field that, I've sent, that I'm sending, and I just want its value, and I'm assigning it to the Jira mood field that, uh, that I showed you before. And we have the country, uh, which is a drop down menu where we're taking the value out of it and assigning it to the uh, country Jira field in ServiceNow. Uh, also, I would like to do some status mapping. So if the status changes on the, uh, the ticket on the Jira side, I would like also to change the status on uh, ServiceNow. So we have a couple of statuses. So we have to do in progress, in review, and done. And on the ServiceNow ticket, we also have uh, some different uh, statuses that we can uh, that we can assign. And they don't have to be similar uh, because uh, Excelate bridges the gap between the two different uh, like uh, status uh, uh, flows that the different systems can use. So in order to do so, we have a code block that is already uh, included here, which does the uh, the status mapping. But I have one that I have pre-made uh, for the for this system specifically, and all that is this uh, this piece of code does is create a map first, where we basically say that um, if I receive from Jira a ticket or a ticket get gets updated and the status is to do, I want the status to be new inside of ServiceNow. If it is in review, I want it to be on hold in ServiceNow. Uh, you see that I have I don't have the in progress here. And this is for the reason that any uh, status that is similar on both platforms does not need to be included in the map. So it will just get assigned automatically. So on Jira, I have uh, in progress. And on ServiceNow, I also have an in progress, which have the same naming convention, basically. So I don't need to include these in the map. 
only like to do to new. These are different, of course, in a review on hold. These are also different. Uh, and then, you know, we have some logic to make sure that uh, this gets checked and assigned. So now that we have that in place, we can publish. And uh, what I'm going to do is just populate these fields with some values. So for the CF2, I'm just going to enter blue. And for the country, we're just going to select one. And I'm going to change the uh, status to in progress. Remember, this was the status that we don't have in our map because it's similar on both systems. So just by updating these fields, um, Jira Cloud saves the, the ticket automatically. So this already triggers a new synchronization event that takes place. And our, our uh, incident on ServiceNow will get updated as well. Also, for the sake of completion, let me also just add an attachment very quickly. So we'll see this arrive on uh, ServiceNow as well. So let's head back. Let me refresh this incident. And we're just going to give it a couple of seconds. Sometimes it takes a bit of time for ServiceNow to process the information and actually update the tickets. It is taking its time, that's for sure. All right, so we can see now that the status has changed to in progress. The country has changed and the uh, mood has taken the value blue as assigned. And currently I've just, I'm sending these values from Jira and uh, processing them when they arrive in service now. I can also do the reverse. So also send the values of these fields to Jira and process them when they come in from service now so that they can change on both sides. And, um, you know, if that is, your use case, right? But you can have it just like this, so where you have one system sending some sending some information, where it only needs to get received on the other side, where no uh, changes to that information or any uh, update is required uh, to be sent back. So you can choose which way the information flows uh, for any kind of field and any piece of information that you have on your system, and just for the sake of completion. So it's currently in progress. Uh, we can also like change it to. Um, I think it was in review, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so review, it will go on hold. So if we put it to review, then the ticket will update uh, to be on hold, right? Um, so this is basically the general synchronization method. And while that happens in the background, allow me also, also to, sh to show you how to automate uh, sending tickets between the different uh, platforms, right? Uh, and XLA does that by using triggers. And triggers are just basically ways for you to create a query that uses the, uh, syn the, the syntax of the respective platform itself. So here on Jira, this will be JQL uh, in order to create any kind of search term that uh, would automatically uh, capture any newly created or updated uh, tickets or issues that match the search criteria. So for me, I'm just going to make one that targets any ticket that's inside of this project, which is the project that I'm using, and has a label that is equal to Exalate. I can also add different parameters. So I can also define that it must be at a certain status or must have a certain assignment for a user or a group or anything like that. Um, so as long as the uh, query is uh, can be processed by Jira, 
then it's valid and you can paste it in here and use it. We're going to activate it and add it. We can have multiple of these triggers, so it's not limited to just having one. You can have as many as you need for your workflow. So if you have different kind of tickets that you want to send but that require different uh, search terms in order to, to target only these uh, tickets, then you can just add as many as you like. Also, when you create your uh, trigger, you can see here that you know this, this is for any newly created events, uh, tickets, I mean, that uh, meet this criteria or anything that gets updated that also meets this criteria. You can also click on this menu and click on bulk escalate uh, to basically run this query on the on the instance of Jira, which would where it will find all of the other tickets uh, that qualify for this specific query that we have created. And currently there are 29 uh, other issues or tasks or anything like that um that are not synchronized using this specific connection uh, where i can just say where i can just click on bulk exalate and send all of them to service now in one go all right now let's just check back on the status as you can see the status is now currently on hold uh, because we updated uh, the status to be a review and this is what uh, our uh, mapping of these statuses has uh, in its rule set now, to test out the trigger that we have just created, I'm just going to create a new uh, task here, automated to ServiceNow. And click Create. So we'll just open this one. And currently, uh, it doesn't qualify for my uh, query just yet or for my trigger. So the uh, ticket is currently not synchronized. Um, it needed to be inside of the project, which it is, and it needed to have the label exalate, which it doesn't. And now that I've added this label, it will now, uh, the trigger will pick up that this ticket now qualifies for the search that we have done. And as you can see, it started, it starts the synchronization right away. So now a new ticket will get created or a new incident will get created on ServiceNow. Um, again, the same thing will happen. So we have a twin or a pair of tickets on both systems where we can, you know, again, do synchronization between, you know, using our rule sets, of course, to synchronize comments, attachments, and, and all of the custom fields that we have pre-configured so far. So I hope this shows you a bit um, of the different uh, options that Excelate uh, provides you, all of the different functionality that it allows you to uh, use and all of the different uh, things that you can uh, that you can utilize XLA for. So thank you very much for uh, for watching. And if you are interested, please visit the XLA.com website uh, where you can learn much more and uh, book a demo with us. Thank you very much.